Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Michael Klomp and I'm a technical support consultant at Procon. Today I'm going to discuss how to address an instability error when running a second order analysis in Sumo. This video will discuss the Pardisa error that occurs when running a second order analysis, what critical buckling factors to look out for when running a buckling analysis, and this video will also illustrate how one can use Sumo's animate feature to be able to both identify and rectify critical buckling zones. When running a second order analysis on a steel structure, Sumo might return a Pardisa error in the output palette. In this example, this error message occurs as a result of an error in the stiffness matrix and therefore Sumo returns the error message. In order to avoid this error message, it's usually advisable to run a buckling analysis to find out more information about any local or global stiffness issues. We can now run a buckling analysis on the model so that we can evaluate the stiffness of the structure. When opening up the results tab in the workspace palette, you can select the load cases or combinations to view from the load group drop down list. Each load case or combination will have a number of buckling modes which will be displayed to you as the user. Under the selected mode for the load case or combination, you can view the buckling factor. A buckling factor of less than 1 indicates an instability and a buckling factor of greater than 1 indicates that the structure is stable. Sumo's animate feature can then be used to locate critical buckling zones for buckling factors less than 1. In this example, for one of the load combinations, a buckling factor of less than 1 is noted. Using the animate feature for the critical buckling mode, it is evident that the bottom cord of the truss might need additional bracing. In order to prevent the buckling of the bottom cord, I have introduced additional stiffness by adding fly bracing. After adding the fly bracing, I'm now going to rerun a buckling analysis and take a look at the buckling factor for the critical load combination. For the critical load combination, the buckling factor is now greater than 1 and therefore the steel structure is no longer unstable. Because we have now introduced the additional bracing to the structure and the buckling factors for all the mode shapes for all the load combinations are greater than 1, we can now run a second order analysis. You will now notice that after rerunning the second order analysis, we no longer receive the Pardisa error in the output tab. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.